In this video, the heater core will be bypassed on a 1985 Ford Mustang LX with a 3.8 V6 liter engine. This Mustang has only 88,000 original miles. Wow. Telltale signs of a leaky heater core failure is water leaking from under dash onto the floor. As we look under the hood, two heater core tubes can be seen sticking out of the firewall. Black heater hoses have already been removed from the tubes. On this diagram, the heater core is located in the passenger compartment within the dash. Two tubes penetrate the firewall. The upper three-quarter inch diameter black heater hose connects to the inlet tube. The blower motor will transfer heat to warm the passenger compartment and defrost windows. Water exits the 5 8 heater tube and is transferred back to the engine within the black heater hose. The water pump is what causes water, often called coolant, when mixed with antifreeze to flow within the engine and heater core. Bypassing the heater core on this Mustang consists of disconnecting the heater hoses from the heater core and connecting the hoses together. This requires reducing the 3 quarter inch diameter heater hose to a 5 8 diameter heater hose by using a reducing hose barb coupler. The 5 8 90 degrees hose barb elbow, shown in blue, is used to maintain routing of existing heater hose. The heater core bypass on this Mustang can be done with basic hand tools. Inside the black box is a cooling system pressure tester. This will be used later in the video to pressure and test the engine cooling system for leaks and also test the radiator cap. Heater core tubes can easily be damaged, so I cut the heater hose to limit amount of effort needed to remove them from the inlet and outlet tubes. I also took hose samples with me to make sure I purchased the correct reducing coupling and 90 degree elbow. The parts I needed were not available at automotive parts stores, so I improvised with what was available at Lowe's. The one inch side of reducing coupler fit perfectly into the three quarter inch diameter heater hose. This is why it helps to bring hose samples with you when possible. I also purchased some heater hose, a new radiator cap, caps to cover the heater core tubes, and hose clamps. Rubber caps have been installed over heater core tubes, along with the reducing coupler. Next, the 90 degree elbow. Existing 5 8 diameter heater hose to 90 degree elbow is the final connection. The round cap seen in the video was open to allow air to escape when putting coolant back into the system. Air pockets in a cooling system can cause hot spots in the engine block when the thermostat is closed and cause warpage, especially in aluminum block engines. The cooling system is being pressurized by using the cooling system pressure tester. While the cooling system is under pressure, I will check for any leaks in the system. After 10 minutes, the needle has not moved, confirming there are no leaks in the cooling system. Time to test the old radiator cap. This radiator cap is not able to hold any pressure and has failed the test. I will also test a new radiator cap to confirm it is not defective. We have a winner as it holds pressure and passes the test. All fluids have been checked in the engine compartment, new radiator cap installed, and coolant added to recovery tank. It's alive and sounds great. Soon the engine is up to temperature and no leaks. A slight increase to engine RPMs, oil pressure is really good and stable, even at idle. Plenty of fuel. This Mustang Pony is ready to go. See you in the next video.